Hey, St. Luke's. I have some practical guidance for ashes at home. So first of all, be sure to find a still spot in your house. Make sure you turn off your ceiling fans as the ashes are rather loose and so can blow away fairly easily. And before the service, make sure that you gently um, lift the seal from the edge to start to loosen up the opening. When we arrive at the point in the service on Wednesday where we would normally invite people to come forward to the altar rail to receive their ashes, dip your thumb into the ashes and then go up and make a sign of the cross on your forehead and say these familiar words. Remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. If you are in a quarantine pod with children or youth, ask them to be the worship leader for your pod and ask them to mark your foreheads with the ashes and say, remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. Charlotte has generously offered to show us how this is done. Hi, it's Charlotte and Liz, and today we are going to show you how to do the ashes on your family. Remember that you are dust, and dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. If you have the ashes on your thumb, a useful tool is to get a slice of lemon and use that to wipe the ashes off of your thumb, or you can use um, a piece of toast to go ahead and scrape the ashes off. Those are A, biodegradable, and B, somewhat reverential ways using creation to um, take the ashes off your thumb. Um, once our Ash Wednesday observance has ended, um, we ask that you take the whole package, the wrapping and the ashes, and you can do one of three things. You can either bury the wrapping and the ashes, or you can burn them. Or if you don't feel comfortable doing either of those, feel free to return them to St. Luke's and we'll take care of it. We um, bury or burn them because that is the um, acceptable and reverential way to, um, to treat blessed objects, blessed items. Um, they return to the ground, just as what we have just practiced. Remember that you are dust. Um, I know it seems a little bit strange to be asking you to burn ashes, but this is um, one of the behind the scenes way that we um, deal with these things. Um, and to channel my inner Dowager Countess of Grantham, if you're a Downton Abbey fan, it would just be unseemly to put something that is blessed and used for worship out into the trash to be disposed of in the city dump. So um, feel free to do one of those three offerings and I wish you a blessed Ash Wednesday and a holy Lent. Be well.